The quake killed more than 60 people, flattened the main superhighway in the East Bay, the 880 freeway, leading to desperate rescue efforts. Back up, go, 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 go. The quake partially collapsed the main artery between San Francisco and Oakland, the Bay Bridge. A passenger in a car on the bridge caught the terror on home video. Fires raged in the city's high-priced marina district, an eerie reminder of 1906. Modern-day construction is considered much safer. Still, some experts say the city needs to do a lot more to prepare. I'm concerned because a lot of people haven't taken any steps to prepare. Mary Lou Zoback's concern is real, very real. She's the senior research scientist with the Bay Area Office of the U.S. Geological Survey, which monitors the nation's seismic hazards. She says when, not if, there is a repeat of the big quake of 1906, it will be catastrophic. Part of the reason is there are 10 times as many people living in the region now. When it repeats, there'll be a 300 long, 50 mile wide swath of devastation. And it won't just be San Francisco, it won't just be the Bay Area, it'll be most of Northern California. Because of the scale, the number of people we expect to be homeless will be a true catastrophe. And it gets even scarier. The BART, the rapid transit tube running underneath San Francisco Bay will fail. And by failing, it means it'll crack, water will rush in, Several of the stations on both sides are below sea level. San Francisco Mayor Gavin Newsom says the city is taking important steps to get prepared. I don't think there should be hysteria and people being afraid. Newsom says that as we all saw in Katrina, it's not just the disaster, but the aftermath that can be devastating. We put together a website called 72hours.org, making the case that most likely in a catastrophic event, you're most likely to be on your own for at least 72 hours. There are seven major faults that cut right through the Bay Area. You've heard of the San Andreas Fault, which set off the massive 1906 quake that runs for more than 800 miles through California. But there is a lesser known fault that scientists are more worried about right now. It is the Hayward Fault, which is believed to be the more likely epicenter of the next big quake. It cuts right through many of the densely populated cities on the east side of the Bay. In the strongest quake ever to hit the United States, one young man tried to race to safety with his baby brother. As he ran out, the old earth opened up. They never saw Perry or the infant ever again. We've seen what a massive hurricane can do. What could happen in the next massive quake? Imagine just attending this routine government hearing in Seattle when suddenly the earth moves. In 2001, the Pacific Northwest had a very close call. This is actual footage from a news conference that was just about to start. Get on the air now, now, now. And reporters scrambled to interrupt programming. We're in downtown Seattle now. We're at the top floor of the municipal building. The building just shook and swayed. In Seattle that day, the only saving grace was that the epicenter was more than 40 miles beneath the Earth's surface, lessening the impact. As it was, it did significant damage, and I think it really served as a wake-up call for residents in that area. Talk about a wake-up call. 1,500 miles away, this American city experienced the strongest earthquake ever in this country. In fact, it was the second strongest earthquake ever recorded on the planet. The time, 5.36 p.m., Good Friday, March 27, 1964. The place, Anchorage, Alaska. In Anchorage's Turnigan Heights neighborhood, KTUU-TV general manager Al Bramstead was 13 years old. He was building a snow fort with a friend, and then it happened. These dramatic images were recorded as the quake struck a wide area of Alaska, an incredible magnitude 9.2. An older woman, she ran out, ran down the street, and she's screaming and yelling, and she says, the Russians have attacked. It's an atomic bomb. We're all going to die. 
In the chaos of this 